Today's English word is divergent, divergent. Now, as you listen to the story, see if you can guess the meaning of the word divergent, Matthew and Mary. Matthew and Mary had been together for 10 years. They were absolutely in love. They had been high school sweethearts. Then in college, they stayed together. Everyone that knew Matthew and Mary knew that they were a wonderful couple, but there was a problem. You see, Matthew and Mary held divergent opinions on how to raise children. Mary said, listen, our parents should live with us and help us raise the kids. Kids need to know their parents and their grandparents. Matthew said, listen, I agree that children should know their parents and grandparents, but I don't think our parents should live with us. And they would go back and forth, back and forth. And because they held divergent opinions on this subject, they started to grow apart. Now, Mary had a best friend. Her best friend's name was Samantha. And one day Samantha said, listen, Mary, I like Matthew a lot. Matthew is good for you. And I know that you hold divergent opinions on how to raise children, but you both need to come together and find a middle ground. You need to compromise because I don't want you to break up. I like Matthew and you love him. So even though you hold divergent opinions, figure it out. And that's when Mary realized Matthew really was a good guy. Even her best friend recognized how happy he made her. So Mary called Matthew and they figured it out and they came to an agreement. Now, what does divergent mean? <laughs> Let's see, if you know, all right, here's the word divergent. The definition of divergent is getting farther apart from a point or different or becoming different from something else. Again, you're not on the same page. You're not agreeing, getting farther apart from a point, two different sides. Now I want you to keep studying and keep understanding how to use this word in real life. So I'm going to tell you how to pronounce it properly, but I want to remind you to get your copy of the daily English vocabulary book seven. This is a package that includes the study plan, the audio files, the ebook, the flashcards, worksheets, and so much more to help you understand this word, learn how to use it in real life along with other words. So go to www.studywithtiffany.com to get yours now. So let's understand a little bit more how to pronounce this word properly. Again, the word is divergent, divergent. Now you notice in this word, there is the letter V. Now this can be tricky sometimes for English learners. So let me tell you again, how you can properly pronounce the V sound. What you're going to do is you're going to put your front teeth on your bottom lip. And the key is you want to vibrate. So you're going to vibrate V good again. V excellent. So after me divergent good last time divergent. Excellent. So this is how you pronounce the word properly, making sure your front teeth are on your bottom lip for the V sound. Now here's the example sentence. Paul and Sally had divergent styles, very opposite, not similar, not together. Again, Paul and Sally had divergent styles. Makes sense, right? All right. Try to use this at least one time today and I'll talk to you next time.